Hello, 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 hello YouTube. I gotta get my voice warmed up. Coughing and gagging in the morning. Humidity. Oh, we don't even want to go into it. Many dew points up so bad at 10 o'clock in the morning. And they don't have no weather alerts. They say the air quality is good. They're full of baloney oil. Baloney oil. Here's our repair we're going to do. This is a Williams. So it's a good old quality USA clamp. Don't ask me about the... You ask me if you think they put that drill hole. Anyway. Here's our idea. Okay. See this little piece of pipe? We already got it bored out of way. So it's bigger than this side. If you look at the circle on this, if it'll focus, see where it gets circle all the heck? See that? The circle part, if you take away the heck, it just will probably fit in there. Then we'll split the nut, right? We'll put the nut over here, and we'll grind this kind of smooth, because we won't wobble. You, know, you always want wobble. So that'll be on there, okay? It'll be a split nut. We're going to have it down inside of here, and then we'll spot weld it. So we'll probably put a notch out here. You don't want to weld here and take a chance to weld it. So we'll probably have a notch down in here to weld it. A pretty good notch. This is too long. We only want this thing to be... We don't want to, we don't want to take away the width of the nut. Come back here. But it's too long. I, I cut it to them. This is a piece of water pipe. It should be half inch diameter. The outside is going to be whatever the wall thickness is. So remember, a water pipe is measured by the ID, not the OD, because this could be an eight inch wall. Another quarter inch. So half inch can turn to be three quarter. If you look at it, you can see. You see how much I wallowed that out? Here, look. Little tips you can learn. How wallowed is that hole? Can you tell? Wallard. Well, you can tell with the wall thickness. Anyway, I'll show that. If you got a caliper where it sucks out, do what I did. And you'll learn some of this, like 5 eighths is a 6 and a... Not quite 5 eighths. See there, it's worth 6 something. You'll learn it. You'll learn more. You, you'll actually learn, if you've had the dial indicator and you read this part too, you're, you're going to learn great little tool. Oh, you did. You can put it in your pocket. It might poke you, but uh, the grain of my net. We'll put it on here. Okay, we can lock it on there. Ain't that weird? That net is bigger than the head. Where'd that net go? This is the same nut. Why would you go buy bolts at the farm store? They do this to you. See that? I don't know why they do it. If this is a 5 inch nut or, nut or whatever, then that's probably 11 sixteenths. Anyway, you got a handle to work with because you're grinding on this. So we're going to grind it round first and cut it. Okay. I say we'll probably smooth out the thread, be some Dremel work. So that's it. We'll be back. We talked long enough. Uh, I always tell people, look at the pictures. You're going to see stuff that I did and I'm not going to show. Our washer will try to match the foot, the foot, the foot, the foot. Stay tuned. We'll get this done. I'm rambling again. Some people like it. Some people just pull their hair out. I <laughs> think of a cartoon. Ah, he's talking to me. If you think he's I don't want to do it. You don't like it? Click unsubscribe and go away. I'm getting serious about that. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's go to work. Quick tip. I got to show this. This is my whatever grit sanding disc. Remember I made that video? I never knew these fit these grinders. I thought they went on air tools. I swear it started a revolution on YouTube. See that? Where I'm tapered. I'm coming down hitting a nut. And you're spinning. Remember, you're spinning that way. So you're always tightening the nut. And I'm just holding on as little glove. It's, it's not even getting hot. The reason I do a taper is, in case I screw up and go too far, we're almost there. Back off. Yeah, I'm just going like this. See how it hits the nut? And like here, kind of draw it like that. You know, make it so 
That's your backstop. There you go. Backstop. That works so slick. Imagine trying to do this and you don't have a bolt to stick that on another nut. It's almost ready to go in there. I had it flipped around. So then you take it off, flip around, see if it'll fit in the hole. It has to go a little bit more. Oh, wherever the wallard side is. There, the wallard. Wallard out. She's wallered out and all wanky. Anyway. Back to work. I had to show that. It's worth it. I'm sure you're out there. Some of you out there are like, wow, I never thought of that. I want to make like a bushing of it. I never thought of that. Neither did I. If I have, I've never showed it. But I've always put them on a bolt when I want to round off a nut. I just never thought of using this as a backstop. It's a bigger nut. Or, if it's only got the same size, put a flat washer on there and use that as a backstop. There. There you go. I'm just lucky that nut's bigger. Back to work. Get to work. So I left that little bit so don't fly apart and fly across the room. See that? You can almost break that and then drain that. Plus it's hot, you're going to be tempted to pick it up, but I'm just wearing these gloves just to keep my hands clean. There you go. You might be able to pry it apart with your fingers, but... Yep, see? Great tip there. Not bragging, but I learned to do it like on a barrel. See, you're cutting a barrel around it. Leave like four spots to your done. So you just keep rolling across the yard and cutting it. Like when you're making a, when I was making my wood stoves, leave like four spots at a quarter inch of metal so it holds together till you're all the way done. No binding, no pinching, no flying hit you in the face. Where are your goggles? I got my, see? Your mouse, goggles, see? I have safety gear. Let's get back to work. Let's talk. More work. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I just said that. We did grind a taper nest. So it's actually tapered as smaller as a gold nest. We did the same thing with the nut. We ground the threads off the nut, right? That way it fit on there, okay? But this is what we have to do. With this extended, because you don't want to rub them back here. We have to grind this off flush because we want all the force to go onto the washers. When it hits the pad so we want this flush okay we don't know if we're going to use fender horse or a round piece of metal depends on how much energy i got but stay tuned after the pictures now i'll let you know and i'll show you some shop update of some of the junk that's sitting around what i've been doing what the temperature is weather report etc etc get back to work let's figure out how to do this part oh it'll come apart I'll get a close-up of that. That's my favorite hammer. I'm telling you, that was $3. I paid $12 for that one, if you remember. Made in China. It's kind of got like a cross peen. Kind of looks like a body shop hammer for 10 This has become my favorite little hammer to use. It don't weigh much, and it was on clearance for what? What did I say? Four bucks or something? Oh, I really like it. I got this from Grizzly. Of all places, Grizzly Tools. Oh, this opened only up about four inches. So whatever I done, making this bigger or whatever, it probably maybe only four. I don't think it was a six inch clamp. And I will take pictures of that too. It'll be painted in another video. Back to work. Let's get this done. Like I said, I'm going to take pictures of all this stuff right here. Okay, we have this cut off. We're going to go find some washers or something to put on, like I said, because the pressure is going to go against the washers, not like this, so it can't push back. I think you know what I mean. Let's get to work. We want this video to be done. Okay, we are done. We're ready to go in. This, this has a bevel, so this will push down, and this center goes in this bevel, so it goes in, so it never comes past the washer. It will not close all the way. I'll have to put, like, one more washer with, because some reason the threads are screwed up in there, but that don't matter. If you have it on something, it's probably going to be thicker than a piece of washer. It catches a little, but once it's painted, I'll grease it. Uh, this part's just pushed together, pressed, in case you want to take it apart. You can just tap it apart, but it ain't going to fall apart. So, 
we weren't going to try to weld. Very tricky to weld. I couldn't have any space in there, okay, in my first couple spot welds because we didn't want to weld through and hit this. Once we had two spot welds, we pulled it apart like this. So, if any weld leak it leaked, you can do this, leaked in there, it would be catching and binding, see. But, it's just a C-clamp for welding. But it's old, I wanted to save it. I don't know if I want to, what I'm going to paint it. And I did say it was a Williams. If you look at the pictures, there are probably be pictures of it. There you go. Let's flip it over to the other side. And... I'll snap some more photos in case I don't have any. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. We're out of here and our battery symbol is flashing. We're gone. We're going in. We had enough. Okay, let me know if you've seen this clip at the end. I'll know if you've seen it because just tell me what you saw, okay? I, I want people to watch my videos and see the pictures because I show a lot that I don't film. It's just below 80. Let's just call it 80 round at all, okay? Outside is very oppressive. It's very humid and it's got to be hotter than 80. Okay, in here, see that? I put that up for the fourth. It's kind of a sh outdoor shop update. See that? For about, what, 75? That's my incense I always talked about. So I made that aluminum foil so I can put it out. Went back in the house this morning and wasted about a foot of it. But boy, it drives the gnats and mosquitoes away. We don't have very many mosquitoes, but... There's the pole lamp. Got my LED lantern. I usually have this clamp on it, if you can find it, there. You know what they say, any flat surface, Later, let, let's unzoom. Any flat surface, or in the wagon, gathers all your crap. But I can set the chair and lean over, but it's kind of hard on your gut. There's the stuff I'm working on. I put little feet on it, blocks wood, because... This carpet and floor and dirt here will get wet when it rains, when it really floods. This will be water right here where my stump usually is. I'll have my stove over here. Got it right beside me. This is my buddy. This is my pal. You can come out with 65 degrees and start that up with some charcoal. I guarantee you. But it's sitting about three foot away over there. You can feel it warm. Sorry about the quick camera movement. The stool got rusted. We're going to have to clean it up. They got surface rust, not rain. Barbecue's done. Of course, if you watch that, I made some stacks. I found a really cool can opener I'll show sometime. That'll cut the top of that out, but it's kind of, you can't use the crank on it to do it. You just have to kind of go like this, like your old P38. It'll chop the top of the can out. I have a P38 from the Army. See that? It's 1 o'clock. A little clock right right there if you can barely see it, my little wind up travel clock here let's zoom in some people might never have seen that that's a little alarm clock that folds up into the case see that don't you love the zoom a little travel and it fell and got bent it's kind of wonky i'm glad it didn't break anyway whoa get your finger out of there yeah i knew not to bring it outside but oh well Zoom back out. This is going to be three minutes. And then there you go. 
So you can see, see the sun? It's 1 o'clock. And by 2, it'll start getting shadier in here again. So it'll be even nicer in here. And I stay out here like maybe 5 or 6. Today, Saturday. It's like a Sunday. I am not working hard. I am leaning back in my chair here. It's got blankets and pillows. Camp chair. I might take a picture of it. It's just packed full. Now I've got my headrest against the Ellis Chalmers. Okay, that's all you get. I figured it'd be worth putting this in a little shop update. So you can see all my junk. It's pretty clean in here. I mean, for out in the backyard, it's not a junkyard, but you know what I mean. You ever watch Sanford Sun see his front yard? Yeah, it could start looking like that real quick. I got a collection of everything. We're out of here. We're gone. If you stayed this long, thank you for being a loyal subscriber and watching the whole video. I need the money. I'm going to take a picture of that. You'll see it.